The State of New Home Construction in Columbia, South Carolina is brought to you by ColumbiaNewHomeBuyer.com. Adrian LaFosse here, team leader of the Columbia New Home Buyer team. This is episode two in a continuing series to highlight what's going on with new home construction in the greater Columbia area. Actually today, this video is being done from Cooper's Pond. It's a neighborhood in the Blythewood, South Carolina area, Northeast Columbia. And this is what you get when you buy a home in this neighborhood. You get access to this pond and these amenities. And there are still new homes being built by Fortress Builders, Essex Homes, and Peachtree Communities. Let's get right into today's episode. Home sales around here spiked 17% to 628 homes sold in April compared to the same month a year earlier. Sales in the area also rose 17% in January through April compared to the same period last year. That may be a good sign that the local real estate market might be on its way up. The median price of homes sold in the Midlands stayed flat in April at $140,000. This is while sales overall were down just under 1% statewide. Let's talk about custom builders in the Columbia market. They're sometimes called build on your lot builders. There were plenty of them back in 2005 when twice as many homes were being built. Very few have survived. Uh, Celtic Works, Berry Builders, Bartlett and Davis are a few quality builders still around. They have standard plans or they can build a home from scratch for you. There's also what I call a custom boutique builder in town. That's Schumacher Homes. They're a national custom builder with a design center. Actually, they've recently moved into a new home that is now their design center. And you can visit that in Northeast Columbia. Because of so many custom builders not around anymore, you have the option to use neighborhood builders like McGuinn and Schumacher Homes. Excuse me, Shoemaker Homes. Schumacher is the national builder. Shoemaker Homes is a local builder. And these two builders have been doing this for a while. They have built on your lot. Now Mongo Homes has just recently started that as well. Now they typically build their standard home with some minor changes, but they're not true custom homes. Now Fortress Builders is a unique neighborhood builder that will also build their floor plans on your lot, but they're also custom builders. You can bring in plans you find online, scribbles on a napkin, they can handle it. And it's very important to note, instead of you getting a construction loan from the bank, Fortress Builders will fund the construction costs until your home is finished. That's very different. Most custom builders won't foot the bill, but Fortress Builders will. This is a major expense and headache averted for you. In the past, you couldn't have a true custom home built unless you were spending $400,000, $500,000 or more. Nowadays, you can build your dream home starting in the 200s. That's pretty amazing, I think. Now, last episode, I said I might have an Essex Homes announcement for you. Well, there's an Essex event at the end of this month, so I hope to have those details for you on the next episode. So next month, we'll have the Essex Homes announcement. We'll get into basement lots in the Columbia market. We'll also talk about BuildWatch, which is a unique, exclusive service of the Columbia New Home Buyer team. It's a video diary of your home being built now, if you can't wait, you can check out our videos out on YouTube, or you can visit our website, columbianewhomebuyer.com, and click on the top menu tab that says Build Watch. If you found this video and information useful, then check out columbianewhomebuyer.com, pretty much the source for Columbia new home information. Remember, we don't represent home builders, but buyers of new homes, ensuring you get the best deal and service. I'm Adrian LaFosse, team leader of the Columbia New Home Buyer team. See you on the next video.